How's it going everybody? My name is Benjamin Anderson and in today's video I'm going to be walking you through how to create an app using Excel on Office 365. Now what you're going to need is obviously an Office 365 account and an Excel document you've saved onto that account. Inside the document you'll need at least one sheet and column headers. You won't need data in order to start the app out but I've added it here for the sake of demoing in this video. Once you have this set up, you're going to need to go to the AppSheet homepage. AppSheet is a no-code platform, which means if you are worried about having to understand code, or if you're a developer who just doesn't have enough time to use traditional development, AppSheet is the perfect platform for you. It is quick and easy to use, and you don't need any coding experience in order to use it. Once you've decided that this is the platform for you, you're going to go ahead and hit start for free. And for this video, we're going to set select Excel on Office 365. It's going to take you to this authentication page where you're going to enter your information and allow AppSheet access to your Excel documents. Once you've done that, once you have logged in, sign up and given permission, you'll be taken to a page a lot like this. Um, if you weren't, go ahead and hit the My Apps button at the top of the page so that you are. Now, these are apps we have created, so you probably won't see these on your page, but you should see this new mobile app button at the top. I'm going to go ahead and press that and hit Start with your own data. We're going to name this App Sheet Excel Demo and choose the category other. And next we're going to choose our data. Now for most of you, if this is the first time you've signed up, you won't see this page. But if you have multiple data sources, go ahead and click Office 365. And we're going to select our document that we're wanting AppSheet to look at. So specifically, mine's in the OneDrive and I named it AppSheet Demo. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it and it's going to start creating my app for me. Now, this is creating it from scratch and as you can see, it was incredibly fast. It's already finished. Um, once this is finished loading, you'll see that we already have an app created and ready for use. This is um, an emulator that shows us what it would look like on our phone. But once we deploy it, we can actually download it onto our device already. It's that fast. Now, I'm going to show you a couple things. First of all, I'm going to show you how to add the next page um, as another table in our app. When I say the next page, I mean the second worksheet that wasn't in there initially. And we'll notice that AppSheet automatically creates a new view for this second table. So if you've got eight worksheets and you're worried about how to create this from scratch, you don't have to. AppSheet will create all of the baseline for you. And you can make all sorts of tweaks inside this editor. Now I want to demo adding data to the app but to do that for Office 365, we actually have to close down every instance of our worksheet. We need to make sure that it's not open on anybody's computer because if it is, AppSheet isn't going to be able to access that data. Now, I'm going to show you an example of that really quickly. Um, I'm going to add a new employee to the employees table and it would really help if I could spell correctly but once I get this set up I'm going to set him up as an admin as well hit save and then I hit this to sync we'll notice that AppSheet gives me an error saying that it's currently being edited outside of AppSheet but if I close that tab hit cancel and try to resync we'll notice that it syncs immediately and that we have a new person on this table. Now if I go ahead and reopen that tab I just closed and switch over to the employees page, we'll notice that there is a new row inside of Excel that was added by AppSheet. This can do worlds to make sure that the people adding information to your Excel sheet are adding it under the way that you want them to add it. This helps your um, data to be clean and similar all the way through the app excuse me, all the way through your document. Now, that's all we're going to be talking about in this video. 
But if you have any more questions, please feel free to throw them in the comments below or visit some of our other videos. We're making videos all the time about different things you can do inside of AppSheet. If you've got questions or want to ask for a specific video, please feel free. We hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a great day. Thank you. At Crew Technologies, we love helping people get great value out of AppSheet. We do that through offering professional services and helpful content like this. To stay up to date, like and subscribe, and we're always trying to improve. So leave us your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.